Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's Salah time Please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel As most of you will have heard by now Tragically three little girls lost their lives At the hands of a deranged 17 year old male In the UK town of Southport This is just horrible and saddens me to my core This should never happen Especially not to children Merseyside police have revealed the attacker is of Rwandan descent which is a majority Christian country and that he was born in the UK and has no links to Islam but even if he was Muslim we would condemn him as this disgusting act of violence against children is completely against Islam however rather than calling for justice and attempting to extend empathy to the parents of those children certain far-right politicians like Nigel Farage, Lee Anderson and Richard Tice as well as influencers such as Katie Hopkins, Tommy Robinson, Lawrence Fox and even Andrew Tate a mixed-race Muslim decided to blame either immigrants or Muslims for this horrible crime. Again, the suspect is from Wales, so he's a British national, not an immigrant. And as far as we know, he's not Muslim. And again, even if he was, what's that got to do with the rest of us? Everyone is in agreement that this guy should be punished severely and the book should be thrown at him. Here's what Tate and Farage had to say, which resulted in thugs rioting across the UK in not only Southport, but also in Hartlepool and in London. I have to say there are one or two questions. Was this guy being monitored? by the security services, some reports say he was, others less sure. The police say it's a non-terror incident. Just as they said the stabbing of an army lieutenant colonel in uniform on the streets of Kent the other day was a non-terror incident. I just wonder whether the truth is being withheld from us. I don't know the answer to that, but I think it is a fair and legitimate question. What I do know if something is going horribly wrong in our once beautiful country. An undocumented migrant decided to go into a Taylor Swift dance class today and stab six little girls. That's right, somebody arrived in the UK on a boat. Nobody knew who he was. Nobody knows where he's from. The media is, of course, hiding the fact that this is a 17-year-old male. They don't want to highlight how ridiculous it is that we allow military-aged males, combatants, to flood our shores. I don't see any protests in the UK. I don't see anybody complaining. The soul of the Western man is so broken that when the invaders slaughter your daughters, you do absolutely nothing. There is no reason to let these clowns into our country. Whereas if we make it clear we're going to defend our border with deadly force, you stand a very good chance of survival. Your enemies are not far away. It's domestic. They've been invited in by treasonous politicians. And the fact the BBC won't even highlight that it's a 17 year old illegal migrant. The suggestive language Farage used to frame the individual as a Muslim extremist and Tate's false assumptions that the individual was an illegal immigrant irresponsibly creates division and inspires bigotry in ignorant individuals, fueled by alcohol and intoxicants to target anyone that doesn't look classically British, even if they are born in the UK. So anyone with a non British name or darker skin is automatically a target. And on a broader scale, it plants seeds of discrimination in most people's minds and this is extremely dangerous. This shows the underlying prejudices both Tate and Farage must have for them to automatically assume such things without knowing all the facts. I agree that there should be stricter conditions on immigration and only people who will genuinely contribute to the economy or have a good reason to be in the UK should be allowed in. But creating vigilante gangs of nationalists to target Muslims and people of colour, most of whom are British because of the UK government's loose immigration policies is the wrong way to go. And this horrible incident in Southport is a prime example of this. An angry mob gathered outside a mosque in response due to the misconceptions put out online about the name and the religion of the attacker, without his actual identity and motive being known to the public. The mob chanted the same insults to Islam as were chanted at Tommy Robinson's recent march. They threw projectiles at the mosque, they set fire to police vehicles and they injured 50 British police officers. And this hooliganism has also spread to Hartlepool and even to Downing Street in London. The mob claims to care about the UK. Okay. Yet they use the tragic death of these children as an opportunity to get intoxicated and destroy British towns and cities and injure British police. And I am in no way stereotyping every non-Muslim person in Britain. The majority of people in the UK are just normal, everyday, nice people who just want to get on with their lives. As is evident here from the nice people that helped rebuild Southport as well as the mosque there after the thugs disappeared. But this radical nationalism is worrying and will continue to spread if left.
left unchecked. The far right are a huge danger to the stability of the UK and to the safety of Muslims in particular. At a street level, they look to people like Tommy Robinson and Douglas Murray. And on a more political level, it's people like Nigel Farage and Suella Braverman, etc. Their media wings are GB News and Talk TV, although more mainstream media outlets also create the conditions in which they thrive. The authorities need to get a handle on the far right, otherwise anti-Muslim violence will be the inevitable result. I honestly don't know why Andrew Tate is joining the party. To be fair, he didn't say anything about Muslims, but did incite violence against immigrants. And let's be honest, some of them will likely be Muslim. Maybe Tate, like Tommy, sees it as an opportunity to polarise an additional audience to make money or gain more followers. But the fact remains that neither of them even reside in the UK. Maybe they should move here and defend it themselves. Recently, right-wing pundits spoke about how the immigrants rioting in Leeds and the Muslims brawling with the police at Manchester Airport don't respect the law. By the way, both these incidents should also be condemned. But where is that same energy for the 50 injured police officers in Southport? The right-wing bigotry needs to be addressed and extremism laws need to be put in place immediately to tackle it, as this movement is actually quite intimidating for Muslims and for people of colour in the UK. I'm fine with peaceful protests, but this is getting out of control. You know what? I want my country back too. Back from the far right, back from the racists, back from the right-wing politicians and influencers who prey on ignorance and xenophobia, back from the media outlets like GB News, Talk TV and the tabloids, and back from every godforsaken discriminatory hooligan that spreads divisive hate. At the end of the day, this is not about the right wing, or Islam, or patriotism, or immigration. Three children senselessly lost their lives at the hands of a deranged monster. Every community should be condemning this, every religion should be protesting this, and everyone should be speaking up against the murder of those three beautiful children. Thank you for watching. Until next time, inshallah. Do that, Allah care. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allah.